Well, Cindy was dying to do Saturday Night Live. I had did, been there, done that. I used to hang out there on my weeks off. I'd go in because I'd hang out with the guys there. I knew Lauren, I knew old Don, I knew Danny. You know. We'd stay at the Sherry Netherlands, they'd come over. It was a, the doorman would say, Did you have done that right? Because he took the stairs down, the emergency. You all, you know those crazy SNL guys. Um, but Cindy wanted to do it. Now, I, we had to go be princesses in the Endymion Parade. And because Fonzie was Bacchus, Henry. So we had to go there and Lauren, and you know, and Cindy was dying to, and they were doing Saturday Night Live from New Orleans. New Orleans, however you say it. It was a great endeavor on Lauren's part to have cameras all over a city with 10,000 drunk people. Um, so I didn't care whether I did it, but Lauren said, why would I want you or not? Why would I want Cindy and not you? You know, I want you, you know? And Cindy was dying to do it, so I said, okay. Um, but she traveled with more managers and assistants. I went by, I'm by myself, and I just had gone to take a nap because we red-eyed it in. And Lauren called Penny, yes, Lauren. We can find Cindy. I said, I'm not in charge of Cindy. You have to come and rehearse her scenes as well as yours. I said, do you hear me slurring? I just took a Valium so I could go to sleep. I'm not due yet for hours. John and, John and Danny will come after. They came on motorcycles, picked me up, and I had to go rehearse. Uh, it was a wild bees, I think, on motorcycles and some other thing, but I wouldn't rehearse. I said, I have enough trouble on my own show. I'm not doing her sketches. And she got mad. She didn't like the room she was in. It was noisy. I don't know. But Pat McQueenie, may she rest in peace. Um, and so I did it. And that was a sketch for young because she didn't show up for one of the things, you know, because it was all over the city for the Apollo Ball or something. I have borrowed lipstick from the sky. It's all drag queens, you know. And I kept hearing, because Randy Newman, who's a friend, Eric Idle, who I knew, you know, they were all in the show. And the parade got rerouted because someone got killed in a car thing. So poor Buck Henry and Jane Gert were sitting there getting things thrown at them because their Mardi Gras means no parade. And so I did my thing, and I went off with some guy on a motorcycle to go, I could have gotten killed. Well, who knew who he was? But he took me to where the people were that I knew. And so I did that. Then we had to come back and do camera blocking. But it was an experience.